Hey Earth Science and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekend love report. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. We'll see what you guys can expect for the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Fresh energy off the new moon. Let's see what we got coming at you guys. So the Wheel of Fortune popped out, but I hadn't asked for it yet, so we'll just see how that plays into the reading. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorn in that order, please? I'll go ahead and tip you guys on down here so you can see what's going on. Okay. These are, I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot deck, so there's pictures on both sides. So, we will see what falls out. After the first card falls out, second and third will follow. So what is the overall energy? Okay. The overall energy we got here is the Empress. New beginnings, the birth of an idea. Um, some of you are experiencing pregnancy. The sign of Taurus as well. Some of you could be dealing with a uh, third party situation. Um, sometimes I see, they call, they call the card Empress the Tempress. So... Way too many cards for Capricorn. There we go. Okay. So the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. So some of you could be experiencing um, the feeling of being trapped, um, the feeling of not seeing a way out of a situation that you guys are dealing with. Um, let's see, Taurus males, Taurus females, Virgo males, Virgo females, Capricorn males and Capricorn females. Okay. Your bottom of the clarifying deck is the page of cups in reverse, holding off, making a love offer, holding off, moving forward and offering your love to somebody because you're feeling trapped in a current situation. Um, yeah, you will, however, be moving forward soon. Your card underneath the eight of swords was the death card. So, Okay, uh, Taurus, you guys are starting something new. You're getting an idea off the ground. You are um, having a fresh start with somebody, but whatever, you are manifesting whatever it is that you um, want to create. You are making your dreams a reality. Um, Taurus males, uh, don't rush into this. Uh, you guys, it's calling for you to take a step back to retreat and to figure out what it is you truly want to manifest because if they always say, be careful what you wish for, you might just get it. That's what this court card is. Make sure you're clear on what you want. Make sure you know yourself what it is that you want because it's here and it's ready for you, but um, you have to be uh, very clear, very sure what you want because it is coming to you very quickly this weekend. Uh, Taurus females, you guys, um, you guys are kind of feeling like uh, there's some things left up in the air. You guys are juggling your thoughts and your emotions. You're not sure what to do. You're not sure what you want for the future. Um, yeah, you, you just don't, you're not quite sure what the future holds for you. So you feel kind of out of balance. You kind of feel like you're juggling life right now. Um, this is your card, however, in the upright. So you are, um, you are in a good place. Um, you could have been part of a third party and either you're the one juggling or your partner is, and you're not sure if this is going to, uh, turn out in the, in the way that you are hoping is what I'm hearing for you, Taurus. Um, you're also worried about juggling finances, Taurus females, especially if you're newly single. Um, you're, you're worried about your finances. 
Virgos, you are walking away, very possibly walking away from a new opportunity or walking away from a Taurus female. You can't do it anymore. You can't, you can't take it. Nobody's winning here. Nobody's, uh, nobody's getting anything out of this relationship. So you are Virgos walking away. Virgo females, most definitely you are walking away from a relationship, a commitment, a contract of some sort. Um, Virgos, you are walking away from a Taurus um, because you want to move towards a fire sign. You're not moving, however, just yet because you're not sure how to get there. You're feeling stuck. Um, you are feeling the eight of swords here, but you are walking away from this female uh, for a majority of you as a Taurus and walking towards a fire sign. Um, Yeah, and Virgo females, you're walking away from a commitment to get a new start, to get a fresh start, to follow your dreams and get an idea off the ground. Um, Capricorns, you guys, uh, you know that you want to set forth on this new journey. You know what the future holds for you. You know what can be possible, but you're you're missing it. It's right behind you. You're too busy concentrating on the two of cups that's missing. Um, instead of going out and searching for the two of cups like you do on this side, you're sitting there um, stuck with the eight of swords as well. Um, you're stuck. You're stuck in the thought of losing this person when they're really right behind you with this shooting star behind um, males. Your blessings are here. Your, your partner that you're missing right here, they're waiting for you. You just have to move forward. You have to move towards them. And then the gift from the universe will come in the upright and you will, um, get your new beginning. You will get your fresh start. You will get things off the ground with this person. Capricorn females, you have to pick a path and walk it. And when you do, you will find your two of cups. You're at a crossroads and you're once again, um, focusing on what you lost and not realizing that the two of cups that you lost is waiting for you. You just have to be brave enough to take that path. You have to be, um, you have to want to, um, yeah, you have to get moving. You're getting stagnant. You have to pick a path instead of just sitting there looking at your cups that are empty. And when you do, you will be able to create a beautiful life with this person. You will be able to create that new beginning, um, the birth of a new relationship, um, and, and find success in it. I get one card for our earth signs. There we go. Healing family issues just flew out of there. This weekend, um, Spirit is encouraging you to concentrate on healing family issues. The bottom of the deck is unrequited love. So there's not enough love uh, or not enough att attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going. So it's time to heal these issues. These, uh, It could be you have children with these uh, this person that you're, you're, um, leaving, you're walking away from, um, especially Virgos and Capricorns, uh, you're walking away from a love that is unrequited. You don't feel the same about this person. Um, and you have to feel, heal these family issues. So when you, um, begin a relationship with this next person that you're walking away towards, you can start it, um, with a clean slate. Uh, you won't be projecting any past behaviors or emotions. And, um, and you'll be completely healed to come into union with a life partner, soulmate, twin flame, whatever, whoever it is that you're seeking out, especially Capricorn, because you are heading towards a soulmate. So, all right, guys, good energy this weekend. Um, lots of movement, which is something we haven't seen from our earth signs for quite some time. So, um, good luck with that. Make sure you are healing your family issues and ending relationships that are no longer um, sharing the same emotional satisfaction that it did at one time. So have a beautiful weekend, Earth Science.